Okay, welcome back to Genshin. Today I think we're ruining more villagers' lives. Welcome to uh, Genshin Animal Crossing. Where were we back there? Where the Shrine Maiden is? What's this supposed to be happening at night? In the broad daylight! Jesus! Just almost killed a Shrine Maiden. What? You're saying he isn't possessed? No, he's actually totally healthy. Does that mean he's just lost his mind? But how is that possible? No, no, I refuse to believe it. Something's clearly wrong. He's old and see now. Monaco, please. Try not to get agitated. She will, she is. I am sorry. So fuck you up. With what powers I have, I can find no sign of any malignant spirit having possessed Domon. So, I know you guys have like limited character designs, but I'm pretty sure they have the same head, just different hair color. And you know, the same scene, so... But spirits may take a myriad of forms in this world, many of which I cannot claim to have witnessed myself. Thus, I dare not rule out possession with complete certainty. Can, can one be, look like a lovely slice of bread that I can eat? And all is certainly not lost. It's just the eye color is different. I received word not long ago that Lady Yai has taken an interest in your sensei's case. Oh god, not Yai. I, I remember the uh, Yonkai Yai. What's he going to do? Cut him with a blade? L Lady Yai? Is that the same Lady Yai that I think you mean? Yes, I think the there's only one. The shrine maiden of the Grand Narukami Shrine? That's wonderful news. Then Sensei will be sure to recover. It's not call me a fox. Correct. Lady Yai is most knowledgeable indeed, and has abundant experience in the exorcism of evil spirits and aversion of great calamities. Isn't Narukami like a Lord Fox or a Spirit Fox? I am unable to say for certain whether an evil spirit has possessed your sensei, but Lady Yai can give a conclusive verdict. Are we hearing this without being here? Excuse me, Miss Inagi, but I must ask, should we prepare a greeting gift for Lady Yai? Nah, she's already here. That won't be necessary. All that is required of you is your timely arrival at the Grand Narukami Shrine. Lady Yai does not like to be kept waiting. I figured. I must leave now. Oh, I am here. We will meet soon at the shrine. I wish Domon a full and speedy recovery. I found the evil spirit executed. I mean, whatever the fuck they said. What's the name? Kill it. Kill the evil spirit. Kill it. Who'd have thought Lady <laughs> Yai herself would have taken notice of our sensei's case? Yeah, he's an old Sino bugger. Do you mean to say that Sensei isn't renowned enough to deserve Lady Yai's attention? No, normally the head shrine maiden doesn't come out. No, no, that's not what I meant at all. You misunderstand me. <clears throat> Definitely. I just mean this is Lady Yai, the head shrine maiden. She has direct and close contact with the almighty shogun herself. Cool, what the fuck? That's beating up to her. I'm back in my one new ones. Uh, um, anyway. You should join us too, tomorrow. That's sweet. Given that you've traveled all this way just to meet our sensei, we, the disciples of Mikio Shi's sweet art, would do our best to help you. Uh, well, I'll... Sure! After all, everyone's we'll pretty evil spirit excited here. about Lady Yai. We're curious to meet her too. You just want to smell her perfume. Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to find out a thing or two about the Raiden children from her. As soon as we see her, you, like... You, it's gonna look back to me and Paimon's gonna be gone like that. It's gonna go back to her and Paimon's sniffing her neck. Anyway, I'm guessing it's on the giant shrine that I've unlocked. Yep. Uh, it's a, that's not the right button. There's a long walk up there. Ah. My poor legs. It's gonna be long and hard. <laughs> not that way. Strenuous, I meant. Long, strenuous walk up that hill. God, I'm already feeling tired from all these steps we have to climb to get to this hill shrine. God, ah, the exhaustion. At this point, when we get top, Paimon's gonna have to hold me up. Jesus, this is this is a long walk. It's definitely not me teleporting. 
God, I'm already exhausted. I'm surprised I made it all the way up. Nice little lantern. Fuck you. <laughs> Don't you guys have a... Yes. Hang on. I, I can't want to. This is bigger than I thought. One of the child characters can fit. Don't mind me. I'm actually just looking for a pair of sins. Because I'm drawing something similar. Well, trying to. So, don't mind me. It's very sturdy. Yeah, okay, this is way bigger. Finally, I brought a lightning character to get these. But we shouldn't leave Yai waiting. Gee, what the? The water didn't like me in it. Another bad one? Could feel bad one. Oh, you actually flinch. Holy shit. Uh, perfect. So you weren't expect it. So, where's... Where's heads right... Behind everything? Ah, oh, good. Fair, yeah, see? I feel like it's a fox spirit. From, you know, the tree, the statues. I'm pretty sure that was looks like. The, the, the slow painting. Of the camera to nothing besides the tree. Do, do you think that's Lady Yai? Oh, no wonder Junyu is so excited. She has a really striking presence. What you mean is she's hot. And I agree. Also, is it just Paimon? Or did she look right at us just now? No, you're dreaming. She's looking at me. Eh, it was probably nothing. It's not like she's ever seen us before. Paimon, you have shit over your face who's mocking you. Keep away. Keep away from me. No. I gave up the art of the sword. Please, let me go, I beg you. Oh, we saw, we should uh, not shock him off the As mountain. As you can see, Lady Yai, Domon has persisted in this state for some time now. He appears to see those who have lost to him in duels past gathered all around him to persecute him. I remember she had long fox ears and I found them. They side of her head here. These are literally her ears. She's just hiding them. How dare you? Lady Yai, it must be a possession, right? Nah, he's old and Sino. This is nothing like him at all. In the past, no matter what came his way, he would always face it with a, a confident smile. People get old. People get senile. People lose it in an age. People get old and grumpy. Hmm. People turn into pricks. Look at that. Remember you used to have a sword on your hip. Now you don't. And a fox mask. I'm sorry. It is clear to me that your sensei is not possessed by any evil spirit. Call out Chuck and the mountain. But... Then did, does that mean he... Yes. Mm, yes. This is a change in the person himself. Ah, good. That's not 3D at all. I can tell that's drawn on. They tried, but you might want to make that 3D a bit. Unable to cope with the tremendous pressure he was under, he suffered a spiritual collapse. With his wits impaired, he finally descended into madness. Sweet. I'm doing the suffering. As one who is thrown into the sea, though he fights back desperately against his predicament, it does nothing to prevent his descent into the depths. Interesting. So we kill him? I don't think him sign sale him. He'll be like way worse. Especially this era. If there's one. As for what has triggered this change, I believe it must be the loss of his vision. For to be stripped of one's vision is to be stripped of one's ambition. Uh, good. So he's a coward. Stripped of his ambition? But Lady Yai, even without his ambition, why should he suffer such a dramatic change? How does that explain his descent into madness? Because he wanted to be the world's strongest swordsman. Which the vision probably helped. But, like, aside that, it's, it's, it, again, vision help. It's probably just went to cowardice once he's lost. Your school practices make you shisui art, does it not? It does not. Stillness of mind, freedom from all agitation. <laughs> what a fine notion that would be if any in this world could ever hope to achieve it. Oh, stillness from agitation. There was once one who claimed to be indifferent to rank and reward, and who fled enraged when defeated by his junior. 
And then there was an aged swordmaster who was aggrieved enough that he crossed blades with a disciple he himself had taught. So he's the people he's fought? Then, what of the one who crossed blades with his own sensei and beloved fellow disciple and defeated them both? <laughs> Can one truly remain unagitated of still mind in moments such as these? Yeah, it's called death. That's dark. That took a dark turn with me. But yeah, no, it's called death. That's still mine. Lady, I, I, I'm not sure I understand. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You fucking drawn on your ribbon. I can tell that's paint. You painted on your clothes again, didn't you? <sighs> the path of the sword master is filled with twists and turns. It is no small undertaking to pursue the position of greatest sword master in the world. You can tell where they like put all their detail in, like, you can tell she's a play character. Because she stands the fuck out and everything which should be pretty is. And then these guys, you can tell it's like drawn on, but they tried with shadowing and stuff to make it like mimic it. But since it's 3D with a 2D drawing, it, it would be better if it's 2D. But it's fucking 3D, so it looks like shit. This bow is good. This is needing some work. It requires so one that. to take their sword firmly in both hands and cut down the hopes and dreams of others. Even those of one's closest companions. Hot. Only a deep commitment to his ambition to become the best made it possible for him to rise above the pain of these encounters. To focus on the way ahead. Yeah, her earrings are actually on these. So you can tell they also ears. Nice eyes. When that ambition they disappeared... He began to doubt himself. As he battled his growing anxiety, he slowly descended into the state you see him in now. Get the blade, take him out. <laughs> Much like a certain fatally flawed friend of mine. Talking about Raiden? Poor Sensei. To think he's been suffering so greatly. Yeah, just for sorts, take him out of his misery. Why does yours look like you put it upside down? That's, no, actually, it's just the angle is on. Because his is more of a straight thing when your two are like curve tilts. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Yes, yes, it is. Father. Sensei. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. Again, painted on. That's enough. It's him! Huh? Isn't that He's been hiding thing? here. Did he follow us the whole way here? Yes. See, they look fucking different. They did a good job with them. Hansai, why are there two of you? Is that you or a ghost? Uh, that's a ghost. Obviously, he's actually dead. You're here for revenge, aren't you? I knew it would come. I never should have. Ah, uh, yes. Grief. You're right to assume that my feelings towards you are far from kindly. <sighs> but I didn't come here to settle a score. Holy shit, he's a changed man. It's been so long now that I made peace with it years ago. You did nothing wrong that day. I just... I couldn't face the humiliation. That's why I ran. See, this part looks good. Like, the black and the blue. Looks kind of better. But since they're these parts here... I don't think most of the people you beat along the way it's would hold there, against too. you. On the, the black contrary, even looks better than the white. When you cut our ambitions short, we entrusted them to you in the hopes that they might carry you further. And now look at you, old now fool. Now I know that we can't place our hopes in you any longer, since you've been stripped of your ambitions too. Jeez. Is this so, the tree be pulsing blue like this, or is it just cracking? But that is no reason to strip them of theirs. Follow the way of the sword all the way to the highest peak. You taught them that, didn't you? To the end. But what if one day, the same thing happens to them? So, it makes them stronger. I put everything I had into trying to become the best. But what if it was all a huge mistake right from the start? You seem to got it. You've been stared at by a fucking prime If there's a chance they'll end up like me one day, I'd rather they stay where they are now than go any further down this path. They don't have a vision to lose their ambitions. Have you asked them what they think? Oh, no. Sensei, after you rescued me from the hands of the pirates, I told myself I would follow in your footsteps for the rest of my days. 
I, I like that little feature. Her arm actually, like, the, how they get the sleeve is the more in there. So you're supposed to look further back, but it's actually just connected to here. I can't know whether I will suffer in my future as you do now. All I know is that here and now, in the present, I wish to continue. Good. I want to keep going until the day that I can stand before everyone with my head held high and announce that I, like my sensei Domon before me, am a master of Meikyo Shisui art. The Anarchist might be high on a pike. Nanako's far from the only one. Actually, all of us think that way. What's some good kids? We'll chuck them all off the mountain together. Goodness. Well, I... You see? You can place the ambition you once had in their hands. See, we didn't need a shrine, man. We just needed an old sword, mate. Someone he trained with. Being stripped of your ambition is something that's never happened to me. So I can't claim to understand it. But I do know what it feels like to have your ambitions crushed. That's what happened on the day that you so effortlessly defeated me. Yeah, you can probably defeat him. So, just as I once placed my ambitions onto you, it is time for you to release yours into their custody. <laughs> With your dogs, your house, your money. You are not in the same position that I was. When I left, I had nothing to my name. But you have a great number of worthy disciples. I... I understand. Took that was a dramatic pause. Jesus, she's so still just staring at their pest. So do, are we paying her for this? Because I hope not. I'm sorry to have made you worry for me and for the state of me. We're not paying her for that. I no longer have the resolve to become the best in the world. The emptiness and suffering inside of me will not abate. So I cannot hope to still my mind and be free of agitation. You can still train him. As your sensei. I shall commit to imparting unto you everything I have learned in my life so far. Does stillness of mind even fucking do anything? Like, you can still have a messy mind and fight with a sword. This is my promise. And I humbly ask Anzai, my senior, to hold me to my word. This probably helps with our strategizing on the spot. I like how she's the only one for unique kimono. So have like a flowery blue here and then it's like... Jacking and full thing, jacking and full thing, jacking and full thing, whatever the fuck I'm wearing. You can count on that. I'd be checking in on you occasionally anyway, just to make sure you hadn't lost your mind again. <laughs> Good. But I am now used to the life of a wanderer. I do not belong in the dojo anymore, so I will simply stop by once in a while to make sure you aren't cutting any corners with them. Nice. Well, don't just stand there staring at me. Say thank you to Lady Yai, and then get yourself back home. <laughs> yeah, say thanks to her in compensation payment. Who's the real master? I'm pretty sure the smart one is. So even though his ambition was world. taken away, his disciples can take it over on his behalf. Guess that sort of solves this one, huh? Traveler, a moment please. Lady Yai has some words for you. Oh god. So, my intuition was correct. But I'm alive, yeah. The wind that blows from afar carries fresh life to these shores. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? For us to meet now is premature. Nevertheless, you set foot on these islands at precisely the right moment. For what? What? Don't you walk away from me. It's my mouse fucking mm, go. I have high hopes for you, child. Don't disappoint me. I'm a grown adult, thank you very much. I'll fight you on the I'll fight you on the beaches. You better walk. Ooh, Lady Yai seems to have taken a real interest in you. Paimon, we need more perfume. I need to get a suit. Help. I'm not good with women, Paimon. <laughs> she seems super mysterious. Paimon's so curious what she really meant by all that. So Paimon, what did her perfume smell like when she walked past you, huh? Since you probably got a good sniff. Hmm. We can come back to it another time. For now, we should go report back to Miss Kamisato. 
Why is the hottest girl I've seen on the island interested in me? I know how these things work. Oh good, I got books. Ah oh, fuck, I got stuck. The, the real final boss is the terrain. I like how they literally have their like little um... <laughs> for fuck's sake. I like how they have their little like um... Was it a uh, building hut, whatever the fuck? House maybe? Like at the like stairs to the shrine going up. Slowly going up. I think I'm gonna fall if I don't actually jump. <laughs> Live! Good. It's fucking lagged a bit. Oh god, I could have teleported. That would have been smarter. Now you die! One day, one day I'll get what I want. One day you'll flint. One oh, fuck. Don't you walk away. I'm, I'm talking to you, sir. Just trying to have a peaceful conversation. Why are you ignoring me, sir? Sir! Fuck you, huh? Huh? I hope you get fired. Gonna pour bad message in with your bosses. Why is the- Oh look, there's another shrine. Jesus fucking Christ. Pick up what? Oh, there's a coin. This roof, um... This roof have some problems with his original size. So it's overcompensating. Why are there just circles in the sand? I know they like drew lines, but like who just did circles? Is that the actual thing people do? What the fuck is this? Good day gods. Uh, do we actually get to see the woman or is she still gonna be behind the picture? Find out next time on Genshin Impact. Z. Any day now. I think it's the wall again. Oh, Ayaka! Guess who fulfilled all your wishes? Hmm. Huh? Ayaka! Huh? As beautiful as ever, Ayaka. Huh? Can really see the paint job. No. Oh god, you here. <laughs> Holy shit, she came out! <laughs> Good, can we leave now? We saw your face, that's all we need. Traveler, Paimon. It is a pleasure to finally meet you both face to face. <laughs> you do. I have heard all about how you helped our three friends. My sincerest thanks to you. My no one thank me yet. Come made their life shit. Uh, yeah. Help this uh sure stretch of the world. It seems like there's no way to really help them. See, I agree with Paimon, she speaks the truth. Um, Ayaka, how come this time you get to come out and meet us in person? Cause he trusts us. Let alone this little gremlin goblin creature. <laughs> Because now that you have done the three things I asked of you, I consider you to be my friends. As you will observe, I dispense with the screen for Toma also. So, you were in plate armor, but I swear that bounce, how the fuck does that work? Huh? Tell me, what is that even plate? I kill you a traditional samurai. Unlike somebody, Mr. Horn Helmet. Mm -hmm. Don't you mm hmm me? Second, but isn't Toma your um servant? Paimon's happy to help and all, but Paimon sure as heck did not sign up to be a servant. Isn't Toma your lap dog? I, I, we happy to help, but I don't want to be a dog like this guy. Oh, <laughs> Paimon, you are most entertaining. Toma is first and foremost my friend, and was so before he ever became my attendant. I will fuck him. Oh, okay then. You seem pretty different out in the open compared to how you are behind the screen. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you both kindly. Uh, shut the fuck up, Mrs. T t what, the mole? Huh? 
never noticed that. I swear I've seen your character before. Back to the matter at Somewhere. Hand. You have now witnessed the pain of those deprived of their visions. What are your feelings on what you have seen? Well, I thought you had one full one in one half glove. But aside that depressed. <sighs> Perhaps in the eyes of a deity such as the almighty Shogun, the lives of those who inhabit the world are inconsequential. Are these two paintings like one after other? Is this like a sequel? Like first painting, second painting? Thunders roar, lightnings flash, the winds assault, and the rains descent. What the fuck is this in your All eye? All these things take place with no regard for the feelings of the common people. Why does your eye look like you have a scroll built into it? Like legit, you got like two scrolls for your eyes. But I believe that surely you understand what they must endure. No, not at all. It seems that perhaps now you can appreciate my feelings on all of this. Speaking of eyes. In ugh. which case, perhaps you would be willing to reconsider your stance? Where's the no I'm leaving button? You will? Really? No. Naturally. <laughs> Something's like a place to live and not on the streets. Alright, bravo, my lady. You were right all along. Congratulations, you See? did it. I told you he wouldn't reject them. I'd place my trust in the right person after all. You saw about that? I could've just killed them. That would literally do the same thing. It might've been now better then, for some. Given that the remainder of our discussion pertains to matters of a more... confidential nature, perhaps we can move to the Kamori Tea House? One was fucking in We ought not debt. to involve other members of the Yashiro Commission. We, we literally have a samurai in debt because of, like, you. Still in debt, because he tried helping people on his own free fruition. This place isn't happy, this place is depressing. We didn't make his life better, we made his life the same shithole as always was. Look, he's much better living in debt with a starving kid and wife. I hope his son grows up to also be a poor samurai. Looking for the scraps of life. Well, here we are again. But that was a long walk. Please continue without me. I'll keep watch. Oh, good. You can help me stab. Help bring like samurai in here, aren't so, you? What's the oh, fuck your candy. Anyway, what makes it your favorite meeting spot? Besides the fact they have sweets, I'm in. This is a land that was gifted to the Yashiro Commission by the Shogun. The Kamisato clan has the exclusive right to plan, build, and repair any property on this land. And even to allow or deny access. Nice. So you just earned this fucking land. Such privileges exist due to the Yashiro Commission's role in managing ceremonial affairs. Oftentimes, it is not appropriate fuck is to discuss this behind details you? in front of bystanders. You know, that makes sense. Plus you stun a Kutata. Gotta keep a bit of mystery, right? You don't get it at all. Paimon, you've been reading too many spy books. Once the number of ceremonial These fucking drums in the city began to decline, our forebearers built a tea house here. Only members of the Yashiro Commission are permitted to come and go as they please. What the fuck do we classify it? Temporary member? Makes sense. Perfect place for a secret base. And some tea. In any case, we can talk freely here. I presume you have a few questions that you wish to ask me? No, not at all. Um, yeah, uh, all of the above. The almighty Shogun. I've seen her on but only a few occasions. Most of them formal ceremonies. Oh, good. She inspires awe, commands respect, and exudes a sense of absolute authority. But as I recall, there was something else about her that struck me even more deeply. That Weiss has been an utter peaceful sit to have, like, uh, people by Gamer of Day visions and put them in, like, a depressing dictatorship. It was her almost complete lack of any emotion. In that sense, she appeared to me to be less of a ruler and more of, well, an executive official, I suppose. Focused exclusively on her single goal of implementing eternity. Acting accordingly without feeling. 
are the personalities from Honkai with Raiden and um, Yai being swapped to Gensen? Because Yai was like a, a mer all serious Dinsa Immersion, and Raiden would be someone to go shopping and have fun. Now it seems the opposite. Okay, what about this. The issue is this. For the vast majority of people, the Vision Hunt Decree is something that has no implications whatsoever. What the fuck is this around your neck, by the way? Don't think I haven't noticed it. So why do you have your collar up? What are you, a fucking vampire? After all, it is but a tiny minority of people who receive visions. Moreover, it is not Thank unknown you. for visions to spark jealousy in others. Yeah, like the Raiden. Because of this, the attitude of most people towards the Vision Hunt Decree is one of indifference. Mm-hmm. How can they be like that? <gasps> Paimon's getting mad. So is your fan base, where every time you open your mouth. They prefer this Paimon right now, mute, and then you talk. Nevertheless, in addition to us, there is also the resistance on Watatsumi Island. Resistance? You mean like an army fighting against the decree? Yes, that's where resistance is, Monpai. Yes. Many who have lost or fear losing their visions have rallied together under Sangonomiya on Watatsumi Island to form a resistance group. Your eyes look like iron sights with the fucking grey part here. Do you just naturally have two iron sights? Because you've got the points there. You'll be the best sniper. To say a little more about Sangonomiya, historically, there has always been some conflict between them and the shogunate of Narukami Island due to their different belief systems. So they're having a throwdown, got it. But I do wonder whether there may be some other agenda behind their resistance movement, beyond merely fighting the Vision Hunt Decree. I think they're just fighting the Vision Hunt Decree. I think you don't need anything bigger aside to wanting power. Of course. We have tried on numerous occasions. Unfortunately, each time a proposal to repeal the decree arrives at Tenshukaku, it is promptly vetoed by both the Tenryo Commission and the Kanjo Commission, and subsequently scrapped. Because no one likes you. Your eyebrows just grey, but your hair is blue. They invariably adopt a stance of unconditional support for the Shogun's decisions. They have no interest in discussing anything. Oh, so they're all white knights. Got it. We, we aren't going to change our decision. Why would we? The woman said so. It almost makes one wonder whether they had a hand in the Shogun's sudden decision to issue the Vision Hunt Decree. Probs. Ooh, ooh, Paimon has a question, though. Oh, God. It's probably about food. Oh? What would you like to know, Paimon? Have you got a plan yet to fight the Vision Hunt Decree? It's pro I, I thought she was about to say, do we have food yet? To be honest, we do not. Brute force this is. Burn down all the buildings you own. What? Exactly. Please, do not forget that challenging the Vision Hunt Decree is tantamount to challenging a deity. Coming to terms with that is already a difficult step to take. I have done that multiple times. Kind of. A dragon, a wolf, and a... Earth dragon. So... So what are we gonna do? And one was a, like, Earth spirit which turned a dragon. And the wolf was literally just a god. Well, for the moment, all we can do is try and reduce the harm that is being caused by this decree. God, it burn everything down. No land to rule, there's no, no eternity. For example... By providing vision bearers with safe refuge, or manufacturing counterfeit visions for them as a contingency measure. Or hiding your vision, and not using your power in public, unlike every vision user does. You're telling Paimon that there are people out there who can make fake visions? <laughs> like, all you guys wear it like a badge, of course someone's gonna see and take it. Don't underestimate it's the literally on your back. the craftspeople in Hanamizaka. To the naked eye. Their counterfeits are indistinguishable from the genuine article. Don't they, like, have power? So if anyone with, like, spirit sense can actually see them? 
The problem we are facing right now is that Master Masakatsu, who was providing us with counterfeit visions, has recently been arrested by the Tenryo Commission. For providing counterfeit visits? Darn! So they found out about it? Ugh. Yeah, no, it's kind of obvious. Yes. We knew it was not a long-term solution, and that it was only a matter of time before it would be exposed. But we cannot simply abandon Master Matsukatsu. Are we gonna break him out? Exactly. I feel the same way. But given mine and Toma's identities as part of the Yashiro Commission, breaking him out of prison would risk dragging down the reputation of the entire Kamisato clan should we be caught. I oh, so need an outsider. Cast suspicion on any future activity we might seek to attempt. <laughs> so you need an outsider to discard it. Why is like half your face shadowed besides this part, which moved when you blinked? The fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> By no means do we intend to place the burden of such a task on your shoulders alone. Oh, goody. When you are ready, go to Hanamizaka. And look for a fireworks shop run by the Nagunohara family. There, you will find someone who can help you. Oh, good. It's, it's you and me, isn't it? I know, because I tried scratching for her before. Like, her banner's out, and I scratched for her and didn't get her. Now I just need 90 more gem uh, attempts. Hang on. I, c I can math this. How, how many would I actually need? So I'm on 8, so like 82. I just need 82 more, like, attempts. What's in this room? My son's an old man. Yes, barkeep, can I pat you? Why isn't that an option in this game? My eye feels like liquid. Like, slight bit liquidy. And I don't know why. <sighs> Crikey. Ugh. Sorry, my eye just feels really weird at the moment. You can... Good. Fuck you. It was a slow mo scratch. Okay. Much better now. Where the fuck am I going? Oh. Okay, over there. Can I can I smoke myself out by standing on that? Would I, would I take like damage? Uh, cause I'm breaking my lungs. The sky start coughing. This game's unrealistic. Fuck something in here. What's this man get beaten up? Just hand it over. You don't want any trouble with me. You don't want any trouble with the samurais cannot see. If you think your elemental powers are enough to resist the vision hunt decree, then you'd better think again. Don't worry, he can't see, just run. Believe me, you're not the first of your kind we've encountered, and we've seen the same unpleasant outcome time after time. You killed him? You best save yourself the trouble. This guy's pissing me off. Uh, can't you make an exception? I just got this vision. I won't even use it, I promise. So you just got it, it doesn't matter. Decree in action, huh? We can't just sit around and watch things unfold, can we? We can, actually. It might be funny. Hey, wait. Huh? There's someone trying to get our attention. Yes, it's quite obvious, actually. Come on, this way. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Can't you see we need to go help? You have a fucking massive hair ornament. Shh, quiet. Just sit tight and watch for a moment. Nice butterfly necklace. Hey, this isn't right, you know. Just because you don't have a vision doesn't mean you can sit back and watch others in trouble. She does. Huh? Hey, wait. You do have a vision. No shit, sir. Look, Shh. and it's a good angle. Don't Damn. Don't your voice down. I won't have one much longer. Yeah, true. 
All right, all right. Here, take it. It's a bomb. <laughs> Wise choice. All right, let's go. Poor bloke. What should we do now? He's already given up his vision. Doesn't he know what could happen to him after losing it? He just got it. I don't think it's be that effective. Uh, this is your fault. You're the one who stopped us from interfering. <clears throat> the one which stopped us from killing two samurai and breaking the law. <sighs> Many thanks, Miss Yoimiya. If you hadn't swapped me a fake just now, I'm sure I would have lost it. <laughs> oh my. No worries. You put on quite the convincing performance. Nice one leg fucking paddy armor. Nice leg armor. How's the other leg doing? Oh, so that's what's going on here. And to think Paimo is about to unleash Paimonial wrath on Miss Yoimiya. <laughs> Sorry about that. What the fuck is Paimonial wrath? I would actually pay to see that. Do it, you can't defeat her. So Bryce will bounce two attacks off. <laughs> oh, think nothing of it. I could tell from your reaction we were on the same side. You just didn't know it, you know? Yeah, no, no, definitely didn't know it. Mrs. Eye Makeup. Oh, right. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Yoimiya, the current owner of Naganohara Fireworks. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Sweet, don't blow us <laughs> up. Meet ya. Yeah, just don't blow us up. Practically everyone on Hanamizaka knows Yoimiya. She's the queen of the summer festival. Without her and her fireworks, summer on Narukami Island just wouldn't be the same. Good for you. Just realized his fucking little f arm band, right? That the back actually looks 3D. Unlike that, they actually put detail in it. Whoa, Mainly because you see her back. Quite the introduction. Paimon loves fireworks. It's nice to meet you. We will turn you into a firework. <laughs> Stop mean? it, Hanjiro. You'll embarrass me. It's literally your job. For thanking me, you'd be better off thanking Master Masakatsu. He's the one that gave me the fake visions in the first place. So you not manufacture him? Got it. His handiwork allowed me to keep my own vision. Whew, I can't even imagine trying to run the business without it. Yeah, why are you still sewing it? Put it on the other side where you know there's more fabric. Yes, Master Masakatsu is a good man. It's too bad good people seldom get the recognition they deserve. An imprisonment. Master Matsukatsu? No shit, Sherlock, that's what they huh? say. Do you guys know him too? Uh, no. You don't say. Then it sounds like the Shirasagi Himegimi has a plan. Awesome! I've been thinking about breaking him out too recently. Oh good, we should work together. But if I just march straight in there by myself, I'd probably get Miss Kamisato in a whole heap of trouble. <laughs> just throw a bunch of fireworks at them. Not the sky, just at the soldiers. It will work. There'll be viscera everywhere. So, what about if I join you instead? Oh, good. We need another sure, fire expert. welcome to the team. Ayaka told us to go look for help at a fireworks shop. She must have meant you. Welcome to the team. It's me and this gremlin. <laughs> Seems like I finally got a new job to do. Have you, besides hiding vision bearers in my shop, that is. <laughs> Any blurting shit up? So... Master Masakatsu is being held at the police station. I've already surveyed the area and found a way in. Oh good, do say. Whoa, talk about a reliable source. Seems we've got the right person on our team. Talk about a criminal. Not bad, huh? <laughs> Let's go as soon as everyone's ready. Don't worry, Master Masakatsu. We're on our way. Time to break him out. Should we not yell this shit out? There's still guards. the fuck is this? Oh, this is legit the fireworks up. I thought this would be somewhere different, but nope. No, we at her store. No wonder this rings of gunpowder. If gunpowder exists in this timeline. What is this in this historically here? Do we have gunpowder? We're still using swords. But there's still guns and steampunk shit. How far away is this? Am I even going the right way? Questions I should be answering myself by using my map. What's the hurry? Well, I'll figure it out. Eventually, fucking Titan. Fucking the guy's the size of a school bus. 
Who the fuck are you? You stand out, greeny. I'm just insulting the fucking people as I'm walking past. Surprised I haven't been in prison for this. Oh yes, we'll just be able to walk in fine, you know. Can I- is, or do I have to actually go at the back? Who knows? I don't. Probably this way. I'm pretty sure people just saw us walk in. Oh good, it's a dungeon. Yes, my favorite dungeon is the firework dungeon. AKA the police station. It gives you all the best gear. Philip is like, we need something to really get this up. Just turn it into a dungeon. Uh, one day we'll load. Any time now. Uh, now that we're inside, this place is a whole lot creepier than Paimon imagined. This is a weirder police station. It's just an elevator cell. Come on, this way. As long as we stay quiet, we've got a good chance. All right, Mrs. Explosion. I certainly wouldn't want to end up locked away in here. Let's find Master Masakatsu and get out of here. You probably don't know what I can do because I don't have a vision. We should split up. I've got a little present to prepare for Master Masakatsu. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, bye. Uh, you sure? All right, then. Just be careful not to get caught. We are going to die. Yes, uh, you too. I'll kill them, don't worry. It's fine. Where's the door we came in from? Do we we phase through a wall? This is a stealth mission, isn't it? Nope, nope, definitely not. Uh, I already like this. Uh, yes. Beating up the guards. Don't worry, I promise I won't hurt you. You guys won't feel any pain in the underworld. Your friend died, what are you going to do? Withdraw. That's a weird withdrawal, just laying down. And dying. Talk about a big door. What the fuck? It seems we need to collect something shaped like Magatama in order to open it. What the fuck is Magatama? Oh, so why is it a giant samurai? What the fuck is this place? What's this music? It's good, actually. Oh, I think, I think I've been spotted. I don't know, though. Show me what you've got. Hey, oh, fuck. not the guitar. I like how that was his worried about, not her health, not the fact that she could have a chance to die, her guitar. Oh, there's a legit samurai, that's why he's hurting. And... Burn everything. There's an archer, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe. Go and beat up your little goons, you know, the weaker ones. Uh, you just left... A t the guy just ran away, he's like, I'll watch these guys die. They, they warriors, they got this. They, they, they can beat them as long as they don't spit. Oh god, they're spitting! Oh good, he's joined in again. He, he saw what I was doing and got tired of waiting. What are you gonna do, huh? Every, everyone you work with is now dead. You, you're doing a great job at being like, you know, the higher ranks, you know. Like every higher rank soldier, you let your weaker ones die before you do jack shit. Ah, oh, aren't you a sample to follow? How much health do you have left? Like, a, a, about dead? Good, sir. Best case, like 15k, uh, 100. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is with this picture of, like, Ernie's? A tea set. Those Ernie's? They small for Ernie's. Why is it always just combat music? Does this do what I think this does? Yes. See, we have elevators. I, I, I get there's also magic in this world, but we have elevators, you know, a bit in technology and that. What the fuck did you throw at me? What the fuck? Why is the building breaking? Is that your strategy? Just destroy the building on me? What's the hurry? Who the fuck? Oh, there's traps. Ah, I understand. D it's just me and you, buddy. Don't worry, I'll make this quick. Get here, hug me, hug me! This wall looks a bit odd. Maybe there's some special trick to it. What 
the fuck was this? I did it! I don't know what I did, but I did it. What's tougher than usual? Paimon wonders if that armor over there has anything to do with the source of their strength. I just turned it off. I thought it was like the others where you smash it. No, turn it off. We we can kill the soldiers, but we can't do property damage. No. No, that's a crime. That guy you made your spear was sewing. Withdraw. It's a nice armor. Ah, it's a wall. Oh, loot. I'm here for the council for pickheads. Oh, there's two big guys. Got it. Ah, fuck. Nice drum. Nice just war drum inside a building. I don't know that's where these things are stored. No, no, meeting room of all places. God, she takes a lot of damage or hits. Probably because she doesn't have the most health and I just play as her. Now I won't beat up this guy. He doesn't look that impressive compared to you guys, stature wise. See, at least you guys aren't like, you know, leeway where you only have so uh, spear users. You actually learned out of the blade. You guys must be happy about that. Fuck, Six. Just, just, just fall. Fall down and die. I'll, I'll kill you behind the drum if you want. Anyway, I got an ultimate full proclaim. No one will be able to do me. You guys don't stagger, I remember that now. Guess I also don't drop any items. Ah! No, no, don't kill me! Let the show begin. Ah, yes. Now the easy part. I'm basically throwing painful water balloons at him. That's Barbara attack, water balloons. Oh, fuck, you're gonna block? Ah, oh, fuck, was the secure? With elemental abilities? Fuck you. Stop being a dick. Dodge this. I didn't realize the doors closed. Sorry, the walls. These are walls. What the fuck? Okay, what stopped me? Interesting. Ladder. Anything actually up here? Or was this the- nope, there's a chest. Hmm. Oh, God. On the door over there? Maybe if I could see the fucking door. What door are you talking about? Where the fuck am I? Was this for something else? Hang on, wait. I'm pressing this buffs. What's the hurry? Oh, now I have two. Do you, do you mean the door we couldn't see, Paimon? Yeah, no, the door I didn't see at all because I wasn't actually there. Yeah, it looks very similar to that. Thanks, guys. I don't think they expected me just to go ooh shiny pick up. I, I don't think developers expect me to be as curious as I am. I mostly think I might be missing one, who knows. For what? What are you gonna pay me, huh? Huh? Where the fuck did you go? It's boiling in this room. And the cooling is on. I'm just gonna spam this till it works. There we go. If you're gonna be a dictator, I'm just gonna spin you around. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna make you dizzy the attack. Can I? No, I actually don't. You should probably, um, tell you hug me. I just love how running up to them can be used as an attack. I don't think that was. I'm not too, uh disagree with you, but I think you jumped the gun there. No, don't. Oh, well, fuck you. I'm just gonna play some rock music now. Wait. Man's disappeared. Oh, he's dead. 
Dodge How the fuck did you go on that angle? I thought you would go to the other wall, not behind me. Um, he's one of the wall. I've been bested. Yeah, like legit. I thought he would go from there to there, not there. Are these just gonna follow me? What's down here? I still like this music though. It's pretty good. Training damage, anything? N nothing? Have you guys put like any uh, scones or candles down? It's quite dark. Imagine what this place would look like at night. D just, just think about this place at night. How fucking dark it would be. Um, can I? But that doesn't help me. You being literally over there does not do anything for me. Come on, you can do it. You, you can run. Just, just run over the crap. Jump. You can do it, boy. Come here, boy. Here, boy. We only had a better range damage to look. How far does this reach? Perfect. It's like he's never existed. Wait, hang on. Do, do we have a hole just for the fucking elevator? There was a floor there. Like, and a wall. That thing... Yeah, it's coming down, okay. Did not get squished. Oh, good. Oh, no, for the fucking giant samurai door, I just realized what she meant. Yeah. No, probably that. You, you want to fly down into the abyss? Bye! But I really miss him. Okay. Just looking for others around. What the fuck? Anything? Hang the fuck on. Hey! How the fuck do I get in that room? It looks like there might actually be a door. Look at him, he doesn't even know I'm here. Just a button. No, that's just some weird shit. Um, oh yeah, doors. Duh. Who the fuck am I? <laughs> Do you guys make your house not confusing? I'm guessing the door doesn't fucking work. Wait. I, I don't think I hit the right button. Is, is it still stuck? Well, I'm never thing? gonna figure out get that chest. Ah, cutscene! The most deadliest of enemies. What's with the face on the wall? How they fucking murdered that him? That must be Master Masakatsu. I forgot that was his name. Did you really think that little trick of yours could fool us? <laughs> Locking you up was just the beginning. You guys sound like Sadus. <sighs> no. Yes. Oh no! Those Tenryo Commission brutes are torturing him. When the fuck did you get here? If we don't come up with a way to break it Are we not questioning to... this? Huh? Sitting in Pekong, When did you get back here? Thanks, Paimon. Uh, I can't bear to watch. If anything happens to Master Masakatsu, our whole plan will have been for nothing. You could just murder them. Hey, you there! What are you doing? Ah, uh, ma'am. We, we were just teaching him a little lesson, that's all. Someone's gonna lose their vision soon. Yes, we get it. Someone's new. Someone's a character. Huh? Who's that? So you can tell, they look different. That's Kujo Sara, adopted daughter of the Kujo clan of the Tenryo Commission. She's also a general in the Shogun's army. What's she doing here? This is a police station. Why is a military general here? 
See how over the far did you be here? Make way. Let me have a look at him. He's dead. Not really hiding much with that. You can still see like your under boob in your tight shirt. <laughs> I'm sure you're well never aware seen that a man torture before. is strictly against military regulations. These are cops. This different. Yes, ma'am. If you are unashamed of such disgraceful action, then you are also unworthy of the Tenryo Commission itself. Do I make myself clear? No. Y yes, yes, ma'am. It won't happen again. It's Will behind her back. Oh, I'm unsure when we to get on her bad side. We are on her bad side. Hey. This is our chance. Let's move while they aren't watching Master Masakatsu. Yes, so. Sure. Yoimiya, are you sure now's the right time? <sighs> Who is that? Floor's really creaky. Quick, go and investigate. Oh, God, we have to kill more people. Yes, ma'am. They're coming. Quick, hide. <laughs> um. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to... Don't worry, I've got us covered. Time for my little present. Good. Good. Uh, we explain more thing. Huh? Was that an explosion? Yes, we you on the seed. It, it sounded like fireworks. <laughs> Quick, let's hurry. Where did the other one go? <sighs> the fireworks are in the them. Uh, maybe more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fireworks aren't just for festivals, you know. Yeah, they're also for burning down the building we're standing in, you moron. <laughs> I was particularly proud of this batch. I decided to. Burn down the whole facility? Yeah, I noticed. Whoa! <laughs> uh, uh, Mia. This is turning into a bit of a fireworks display. <laughs> it's turning into a fire hazard, you mean? Well, we're in a wooden building. <laughs> Please don't tell me there's more Mrs. Fizz head. Look, the coast is clear. Now's our chance. How? I'm pretty sure more people heard the fireworks than two. Where the fuck did the chick go? Anything up here? Anything? I feel like that's the way to go. You got loot with your bud? No? Fuck you. Save you didn't bring a chest. We sparkling Yoimiya. as we're running. Is that you? No, that's Greg. That's Paimon sparkling. Sorry we took so long. Oh, those awful guards. <laughs> He's just been beaten up. Come on, we've got no time to lose. They could be back any minute. What's with her hair, hair ornament choices? Messy, more like it. Oh yeah, you know she's there. Oh. Yeah, no, yes. she's not more. Leave. Before I let my judgment get the better of me. He's in serious condition. Be sure he gets immediate medical attention. But remember, once he's recovered, it won't be long until I bring him right back. Oh, so we have to kill you. Let's do it. Uh, well, my... <clears throat> you can bet we'll do all we can to keep that from happening. <laughs> Leave this place. Thanks. You, you know you have doctors, right? You know you could actually trap us all in. You are quite a moron for a general. You're nothing but looks, aren't you? Oh, fuck yeah, he did bring some goodies. Oh, fuck yeah. Mrs. Angry Pants had some fucking goodies for us. Like, legit, we are mostly broke into a cop station to get one bloke. A general of the military is just like, Ah, oh, no, leave, don't worry. We'll bring him back sometime. You, you guys are good. Just leave. It's like you could literally arrest them all. You have military, like cops, and medical staff. She's a moron. We could be forming a resistance, and she's like, "Oh no, just, 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 just get out. Leave my sides. Don't want to have to deal with you today. That's paperwork." Do you sign some forms? God, I wish the heating in my room worked. I've ducted coin and it's worked in every room but mine, apparently. Fucking sweating off a storm. Whew. We're finally out of 
of that creepy place. We're literally in front of the cop station. Yes. Finally, I've made it out of there. <laughs> you will be dragged back in. Master it's Masakatsu, me. how do you feel? Can you hold on? Yeah, his legs broken. Don't worry. I think I can it make it be. to the infirmary without keeling over. <laughs> Good. Thank you. All of you. I'll take him to get treated. I'll treat you to a round of drinks once this is all over. Oh, fuck yeah. Don't worry about us. Just take care of Master Masakatsu. Now go. <sighs> Good thing we were able to rescue him. Yeah, no, that was great. Right, Kujasara. Do you think she was making up for how the guards were treating him? Probably not. She probably just doesn't give a shit about her job. It seems as though there are some okay people among the ranks of the Tenryo Commission. Uh, though Paima would never agree with their actions in the Vision Hunt Decree, of course. Of course, of course. How about we go tell Ayaka and the others the good news? Yes, yeah, sure. That she saw our face and can put us on wanted posters? Yeah, no, good news. Good news, our faces will be all around the town. We'll be that popular, Paimon. It's, it will say popular, not wanted on it. Definitely. Fucking moron. Fucking moron. Again, with the fox figures. That's where they want me to be. Fox have a thick tail. Hey, kids. Should probably take these stairs. Oh, good. We can actually sh fucking fit in. How are you going? You look oddly, like, different to every other fucking character. You stand out with that pink hair. No, from these parts. I wish we could get a kimono for Traveler. That would actually be quite cool. What's the hurry? Why doesn't the Traveler have outfits? He's the main character, the one you'd stick with. <gasps> You think they'll check, like, Lisa Kimono on him from this area? <laughs> I started climbing the walls instead of entering the door. They just open the door, I just swing in. Still grabbing onto the wood. Like the rat I am. Oh, Jesus, we're right in front of you, what? <laughs> I see. So Kujo Sara stayed her hand. It would appear she still has some honor to her. Yeah. I wonder if we should try establishing contact with her. Perhaps we could coax out some information. How about no? Unlikely. I agree with her. Don't forget, Kujo Sara is also carrying out the Vision Hunt decree. She obeys the orders of the Raiden Shogun without question. Just not doing a good job. In her eyes. Master Masakatsu is of no threat to the decree. This is why she was so willing to allow his escape. Still weirded out by your eyes. Will your family have these eyes? If our true motives were ever divulged, she would act against us without a second thought. Yeah, no shit. True. Though if you ask me, Master Masakatsu's release is an unexpected blessing. We literally went to do it. We, we could have fought her too. We are now one step Mrs. Earring, to victory. Mr. Earring. And we couldn't have done it without Yoimiya and the Traveler. I was about to say you can thank me. <laughs> You're turning out to be even more reliable than we expected. Thank you, Price Mule. <laughs> Don't mention it. I really need a... Uh, I really need to make like, a little name tag with just some emergency food for pirates like this. Indeed. Things may have turned out very differently this time without the help of the Traveler. You're welcome. Keep praising me. But if we wish to mount any sizable resistance against the Vision Hunt Decree, there is still much to be done. It is time we make ready our next set of plans. Would you have plans now? There's no need to rush, my lady. Well, yes, it is. Things seem to have taken a turn for the better, at least. Not only have we rescued Master Masakatsu, but our list of allies appears to be growing. Are they really? Uh, yes, which reminds me. The Tenryo Commission seems to be making preparations for a celebration. They call it a ceremony of sorts. Oh good, they're going to off people's heads. And the number of samurai out enforcing the Vision Hunt Decree seems to be waning. The days ahead may be more peaceful than usual. Aren't you optimistic? A ceremony, you say? 
Why would such a task be left to the Tenryo Commission? I don't know, but I'm sure it has nothing to do with us. Anyway, with the Tenryo Commission busy with preparations, we should have a little more breathing room than usual. Or not. You like literally just saying that because they did it in the other times. It's now a decree now. They might not pull the uh, security down. Hmm. You do present a good point. Yes, that we broke some people out. Being in a constant state of alert will only tire us further. Perhaps a period of rest is in order. These people are morons. Toma, what would you suggest? Why are you asking him? I'd say a celebratory feast is in order. Might I suggest an evening of hot pot together? No oh, good. <laughs> Funny enough, I learned a new hot pot game recently. I'm sure you'll find it quite amusing. Why? A hot pot? Why? Game? What's that? Of course you decided well, by as long food. As it has to do with eating. Of course, yes. Simply put, every person prepares an ingredient to add to the hot pot. Once the meal begins, we add all the ingredients together. Is human allowed? I mean, weird meat? Then we take it in turns to close our eyes, pick an ingredient out of the pot, taste it, and guess whose ingredient it was. Oh, good. Anyone who guesses correctly can go again, and whoever finishes the meal with the most points is declared the winner. Tradition even has it that the winner receives blessings from the god of hot pot. What's the god of hot pot? Don't you think what it sounds like saying? fun? <laughs> I've been wanting to give it a try. In fact, I've already got my ingredients prepared. How long have you been doing this? How old are those ingredients? You really do want to play, huh? Well, sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. Time to gather some ingredients. He's but been. What should we choose? He's been waiting for years to pick a hot pot game. Let's see what we've got here. Mm, fresh fish fillets, shrimp, bamboo shoots. God, I have no! to do some good. You can't go wrong with these. Paimon can't wait. God, of course, it's food. Paimon never thought we'd be the only ones to actually put anything edible into the pot. Don't go wasting the rest now. <clears throat> That's see some candy daddy who put that in there. This was possibly the scariest looking hot pot Paimon's ever seen. Fortunately, Toma ended up eating all the weird stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Toma. Isn't this shit supposed to be round, not like flat, almost flattened? Yeah, you can say that again. But hey, at least I got the most points. <laughs> oh, wait a moment. That doesn't feel good. So how's your stomach going? If you're gonna vomit, please leave. I'm afraid it's your own fault for adding all those strange ingredients, Toma. The soup flavor wasn't quite the same afterwards. What the fuck did you add? Even with a traveler's normal ingredients, I still couldn't guess any of them correctly. You're welcome. What did you put in? But weren't you the one who added those little cakes, Ayaka? <laughs> I think the traveler ended up eating one. <laughs> Nice sushi. Boiling cakes in hot pot. Ugh. Think of the texture. Yeah, that does sound bad. I must apologize. To be perfectly honest, I thought the cakes would be a tasty addition. It says me which one to put like aragiri in it. Oh, Presto oh. stuff. Here. I'm definitely not okay. Oh, I need to lie down. We'll dig your hole out back to bury you in. <sighs> I feel like a new man. Quick, someone punch him in the gut. You know, Toma, all you had to do was guess wrong on purpose and it would have been someone else's turn. Talk about being competitive. Look at that face. Look at that angry face. He's pissed. <laughs> uh, guess I've been feeling unlucky recently and wanted the God of Hot Pots blessing. What the fuck's the god of hot pots? Perhaps I Can we did eat get it? a little carried away. Still, I couldn't be beaten at my own game first time around. You could. I think my luck has already taken a turn for the better. I can sense it. Okay, you just put like a, a death warrant on you. So without further ado, I hereby declare that the winner of today's hot pot challenge is me. What a loser. You had to clear it yourself. Oh, brother. Well, don't go outside. Oh, good effort, team. Another important job taken care of. Next on the agenda, some well-earned rest and relaxation. We'll get back to work. Yes. 
If the Tenryo Commission truly is as busy with preparations as Toma claims, then some rest would be a welcome change of pace. I groove her. And with the extra time, there are some other matters I wish to attend to. I, I groove the one which seems smart and one which didn't stuff himself full. Let's all take some much needed time off. After a few days rest, we'll reconvene at the Komori Tea House and discuss our next operation. Sweet. Downtime is hard to come by these days, so be sure to make the most of it. I'll tidy things up here and start thinking about our ingredients for our next round. <laughs> oh god. How do we expect he's gonna die? He definitely put like a death thing on his head. There's gonna be a sequel? <laughs> it's not a movie or a book. Sure, why not? We should play again now that everyone knows the rules. I'll see you all later. If you won't be sick again. Bye, Toma! Bye, Sicky. Hmm. Seems we won't need to be visiting the Kamori Tea House for a while. Why don't we go explore some other places? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so. Wait, like what? We did it! We we got a achiever. Ah, uh, good. Does it make Terma sick? Ah, oh, it's not make Terma sick. Ah, uh, achievement sucks. I'm almost hitting my head on this, Jesus. Put it up a bit more. Hey, boss. Anyway. Are these... All here? I'm guessing the door. We actually have to walk out the door. God. Manual labor. Going outside. My worst fear. The quest is just touch grass. The most painful quest. They say no man have completed it yet. Not even the bravest warriors could touch grass. <sighs> Darkness. Should it be black? Should it be looking in my eyes so? There we go. Where do we go from here? What's the plan? Yes. Traveler, Paimon, hold on. D Jesus. Huh? Calm you so down. Ayaka? Something has come up, and I would like to request your assistance. Yes. But you ought not be nervous. This is not coming from the Yashiro Commission or the Kamisato clan. It is my own individual request. Couldn't you do this when we was inside and not, you know, bolting out? Individual request? You mean personal stuff? As long as I can keep my clothes on, so. Correct. It concerns my mother. Oh, never mind. This may seem a little sudden, but in my view, you are the only person I can entrust this to. First off, why? And secondly, why? To see yourself the scroll eyes? A few days ago, I was sorting through some old family belongings when I found a notebook that belonged to my mother. Got it, snooping when you saw them, have. She wrote about all kinds of things, mostly of little consequence. But what drew my attention was a name. It is one that I have never heard before, so the fact that she mentions it so frequently, it makes it difficult for me to ignore. That the name is? Probably your mom's best buddy, right? Never. And although my mother and father passed away many years ago, both my brother and I are familiar with the vast majority of their acquaintances. Got it. So, I am very curious about this mysterious individual. I would very much like to meet them. They might also be dead. According to the notebook, their name is Tsubaki. This seems to have been someone very important to my mother. Someone with a lot of personality, who liked to have fun. Got it. I, I have not seen like someone like that. Thing. I was thinking males, what the fuck? That's what I thought too. Well, clearly I don't know Japanese names because I thought that was a dude's name. So what do you want us to do? Do you need us to find her for you? Track her down? No, no. Her address is given in the notebook. We can head straight there. I wanted you to assist me with the preparation of greeting gifts. That's very massive back there. Start building. 
Please keep everything I have told you in strict confidence. I'm going to tell everyone. The proper course of action would be to involve my brother and visit her together. But he is terribly busy at present, and on a more selfish note, I don't wish to involve anybody else from Inazuma in this matter. Got it. Why? What the fuck's wrong with you? Because I'm an outsider? Exactly. That, and you are also a kind, well-mannered person with a genuine concern for other people. Not to mention trustworthy. I would not feel comfortable with anyone else in this situation. I feel like I'm fucking mounting from how sweaty I, sweaty I am. You can count on oh, us! Fuck. We've done greeting gifts before, so we should be able to help. In terms of payment, just treat us to some delicious food and we'll be more than happy. That's you will be more than happy. That's you. Wonderful. Think about the fact, other people. I was hoping to take this opportunity to show you both around. If you don't mind, of course. I, I already looked around. You sent me on a fetch quest. Oh, we don't mind. We don't mind at all. Do we? No, I mind. Thank you kindly. Shall we head off then? Ogura Textiles and Kimonos is our first stop. Are you annoying me? I fucking hate you. What do you think about- She's annoying me. How dare she? Why is there a bird as damage? Can I check the eye thing out? Hang on, I know who her brother is. Is that- what? Yeah, uh, can I- No, no I cannot. <sighs> what the fuck? Why do you have Starbucks? The fuck is your sister anyway? I want you to give that sexy your outfit. Uh, um, she doesn't actually exist. Oh, yep, yeah. no, yeah, it is. Fucking, why the fuck did you just pull out? He pulled out a fucking star cup. He, Starbucks cup. He had bubble tea. Sorry, I mean moon cup. Moon bucks. Of course. <laughs> the definitely non copyrighted variant. Moon bucks. We all love moon bucks. There was a kimono store over there. Where the fuck are we going? Ah, oh, yes. Ah, fuck. I wanted to land on the water wheel. Not behind it. But, ah, oh, yes. The samurai of the dodes. See, he's training them well. Brave warriors. Wait, does this one follow me? I, I can die happy here. This, this, is where I, this is where everything can end. This, this this is the happiest day of my life. Oh wait, can are they both follow me? <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Fuck yeah. Oh, wait, is that your stopping point? That's the one stopping point. Oh, you stopped. Oh, this game's great. Love this game. I'm. I need to remember that it's down. Probably need to take a screenshot of that. Hey, Fox. Dude, why the fuck am I here? Yeah, what up? We're looking for the great Mujina Yokai. Oh. Do you know where it lives? Yeah, over there in the arson. You just have to go great deep. Great Mujina Yokai. What's that? Yokai's a ghost. Huh? You've never heard of it? No, I'm not twelve. It's a sneaky monster that goes around playing tricks on people. It's got magic powers and can even shapeshift into anything it wants. Like what? One time, the great Mujina Yokai stole some rice from our house. And this other time, it pushed my dad into the river. So that's just not you. Sounds like Stop a Stop mugging nice yourself and monster. beating up people. Because we finally found out how to chase it away. Which is? My dad said that the great Mujina Yokai likes to play tricks on people who stay out all the time and don't come home when they're supposed to. Oh. So all we need to do is chase it away. Then we can come out and play whenever we want. Got it. This monster sounds scary though. Aren't you guys afraid? Surely your parents must be worried about you. That reminds me of a monster, but get off to die after this. Oh, not really. Different I told my dad that I was going to find the great Mujina Yokai with some friends, and he didn't even say anything. Your dad's dead, isn't he? You killed him. So really, Two face. It must be weak right and two face. It's probably and full face. So it can rest. Probably is his day. Yeah. Start it so there. 
As long as we get home before it gets its strength back, we'll be safe. So, totally. Hmm. Something sounds very strange about all this, but Paimon can't say exactly what it is. I saw Joy Yurka. Yeah, Paimon feels like the great Mujina Yokai is one of those storybook monsters that doesn't exist in the real world. Yeah, like the storybook monster Paimon. It's an ugly beast. We should tell them so they don't waste all their time looking for it. And they go. Oh, children, listen up. There's no need to go looking for the great Mujina Yokai, alright? Oh god, not because a crab! Is it real? Huh? No Just way. break their dreams. That's impossible! My dad wouldn't lie to me. Why don't you tell them about Santa too, Paimon, where you at it? Your folks are just worried about you, is all. They don't want you wandering too far from home because it's too dangerous. What you should worry about is the purple and blue crabs who live here. That's not true. The great Mujina Yokai is definitely real. Yes, as real as fox people. Wait, that's me. Yeah, Yoimi is even making some weapons for us. And then she's going to show us how to blow it up. Oh, God, I'm worried about you kids. Yoimi, huh? Wait, as in fireworks prison break, Yoimi? <laughs> nice title. We told her all about the great Mujina Yokai. She said we shouldn't be scared of it. We should learn how to chase it away instead. Oh uh, yes, that works totally. It's there behind us. Look at that man. We've been waiting for ages now. And finally, Yoimiya said that today's the day. Good. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yoimiya plays with us and tells us stories all the time. She wouldn't tell a lie. Let me tell you about a really ugly demon. It's called Paimon. Guys should chase that way. But... Let's get out of here and go find Yoimiya. This kid's already dead. Wait, hold on, don't go! Don't go, you brought me a firewood. They didn't seem to take that very well. But Paimo is only trying to look out for them. <laughs> it turns out the fireworks are people! People! Oh, Who God, I'm melting. Fuck. To do with this? Let's follow the kids and see what's going on. People! She's turning kids into fireworks! Okay. So, what quest do we have? Uh, flower... And the bird. Alright. Now let's stop some kids from being turned into fireworks. I'm gonna save you kids. There, there's the- there's- There's the fiend. We must do this. With metal! With metal now, we can win! Oh god, I couldn't go near to no. If only my metal was Cheer ring. Up, guys, don't be so down. She was only joking back there. How could the great Mujina Yokai not exist, huh? Yeah. Fucking Paimon. But we've never seen it for ourselves. She's gonna yell at us when That's we come That's because up. the great Mujina Yokai is extra powerful. And that's exactly why I need your help, isn't it? Definitely, totally. Uh... You ruined these kids' lives. Paimon, tell them about Santa. It's okay. Don't be discouraged. Hey, remember, if you want to be a hero, you gotta have patience. And wisdom, too. What wisdom do you have besides blowing things up? You go and give these kids a firework claymore, aren't you? Even if you can't find it right now, it'll definitely show up before the firework show starts. So, remember to come and pick up your weapons from me before then, okay? What are these weapons? The great Mujina Yokai Please be wooden be. swords. It's no match for my specially made fireworks. Just light them up and you'll scare it off no problem. Why are you giving kids weapons? It's up to you guys to protect your homes, your crops, and your folks. You're gonna burn down their houses, aren't you? Got it! Thanks, Miss Yoimiya. We'll try and be more patient. Like that statue, always waiting, crying. No one's seen it. Oh, yeah. Hold up a sec. I have a few slips of paper for you guys, one each. Remember to give it to your parents and tell them to keep it safe. What Just the fuck tell these? From Yoimiya. They'll know what it's about. Are these receipts? Okay, thank you. They're receipts, aren't they? We're gonna go back now. Oh, thanks, Yoimiya. Come play with us soon. <laughs> and stop billing our parents. Sure thing, we'll do. Take care on the way back, and I'll see you later. Uh, so... Ah, 
Yes, so it was you guys. Oh, uh, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. The way the kids described you. No worries, though. I'm not blaming you. <laughs> the great Mujina Yokai is pretty popular with the kids, so of course they're gonna get upset if someone tries to tell them it doesn't exist. But it doesn't, like you and your chest. I know those are pads. Okay, don't lie to us. But it definitely doesn't exist, right? It says the floating thing. You can be seen as a yokai yourself, Mrs. Starry Eyes. Yeah, the first time I heard about it, I knew straight away that was probably something the parents had come up with to stop the kids from running off all the time. Yeah, no. But when the kids asked me about it, I didn't want to break it to them. I just told them that it looks cute and likes to play pranks and doesn't hurt people. Totally. Definitely doesn't hurt people. So, uh, I guess now the kid's impression of the great Mujina yokai is... Mostly influenced by me. You're a terrible person, you know that, right? Just break the kid's heart, rip it out if they just in front of them. Huh. So in a way, this monster is all a product of your creativity? You need to dream better. Maybe so. In any case, I'm not going to be the one who exposes it. Ah, uh, yes, the koi fist thing I was talking about. See, have it. Sure, it's likely that the parents just, just ago. wanted to stop the kids from staying out all the time. But they could have easily had other reasons, too. I think multiple streams go. I think I was still in leeway. If I just go ahead and tell them that the great Mujina Yokai doesn't exist without knowing the full story, then who knows? I might be doing more harm than good. You probably are. Besides, they're just kids. They should be allowed to believe it if it makes them happy. That's more important to them than questioning what's real and what isn't. Yeah, anyway, see how her koi fist is up? Point up, that means good luck. If it's points down, that's bad luck, apparently. Heck, I entertained For my share of fantasies, too. The fire diamond that spins around and shoots out lights that are all the colors of the rainbow. Ooh, the mist spirits that live far off in the mountains and guide you to fairyland if you can find them. You you need better dreams. Look at that squid. He's dreaming right now. He's taking a match. I know that they don't really exist, but I still enjoy believing in them. If someone came up to me and started telling me to stop being so stupid, they don't exist. Nah, nah, nah. What happened to the fox masks? You bitches. I give them the evil eyes and tell them to get the heck out of my face because uh, ugh, it's just so annoying. No, nah, no, I agree. People are annoying. Right? So what if it's made up? It's also really awesome and kind of magical. So it's not up to anyone else to tell me what's what. Exactly. I see no shadow moving. The things we believe like legit, in, what the fuck? we had when we were young turn into our priceless treasures as we grow up. Why is it swapping sides? Does you know shadow have a life of their own? When you were kids, surely you guys believed in things like heroes who slew dragons and sacred swords that cut through darkness. It's the same thing. D no, no, not at all. That's cheap, yeah. If we tear apart these kids' fairy tales now, what else do we have to tell them? That Inazuma's locked down? All the grim tales of the Vision Hunt Decree? I think it's a bit too early for all of that. True. Uh, yeah! Oh, way too early. For sure! Definitely. Stop ruining their day dreams, Paimon, you heartless person. God! <laughs> Whether you understood me or not, don't you worry. I'll take care of the kids and make sure they stay safe. Just let's turn them into fireworks. Okay, it's about time I headed back. The Nagano Hara fireworks show is just around the corner, and there's still a lot of things to get ready. A uh, good Nagano Hara More explosions. Firework show? Is that hosted by your family or something? Probably just her. Well, yeah. I mean, that's why her name is on the event. It's well known throughout Inazuma. D yes, as a foreigner, I did not know that. Oh, on the subject, are you busy these days? If not, then you should totally come along. I'll prepare an extra pretty firework just for you. <laughs> oh, so could line case, sales busy. Come with me to Naganahara. We'll go see my bots. There's still a few fireworks to finish off before the show. Good. Inazuma is home to the Yai Publishing House, and a lot of people who like to write stories, too. In fact, most of what they write is based off of the kinds of fairy tales I was just talking about. The true warrior had appeared. Oh! Though. 
Like the fire diamond will get put in a rich person's gallery where it will never be ignited again. <laughs> or of course, that's someone a bad will idea. see the mist spirit and not manage to catch it, but because they angered it, it'll never show itself again. Or kill them. The hero who slays the dragon becomes the next dragon. The sacred sword that once fought the darkness what? now becomes a doomsday weapon. What? Ugh, I know these kinds of stories are all the rage nowadays, but I really can't bring myself to like them. If something's magical, it should be kept that way. Yeah, no, you guys are fucking terrible people. I, I, I got to the point of like hot was my leg got cold. <laughs> like specifically one leg. But yeah, I was saying there's like a, yeah. I think a Spanish um creature. I don't know if it's still used, but it's like, it's it's like oh, don't be a prick, uh, uh, don't be a terrible person, or he'll come take you away. Those stories. It was like a father which like locked his kids up and they burned down, and now he's like, yeah, he's he's locked them up, house burned down, they died, and now he's like a figure which comes and. Punish naughty kids with some crap. I'm, I'm grabbing these. I don't know why berries grow all around the place, but fuck it. Free berries. What up? Hey, pups. I'm back. Oh, like one nuke. The fireworks show is almost upon us, and the fireworks for each family are almost ready. Oh, nice. Oh, new faces? Who are these two? Friends or customers? Consider us both. A bit of both, actually. They arrived in Inazuma just recently. Can't let them miss out on a fireworks show after coming all this way, can we? I can just a light on my face. Sliding engine is great. There's no fault of them out of the rule. <laughs> well, either way, come on in and have a seat. And I, Naganahara Rienosuke, will tell you all about the long history of the Naganaharas. Fuck yeah. That can wait. Pops, I need to ask you about something. But the, it's the history. But the history. I'll, I'll slap you, you know I me. Mean? <sighs> you my? A long, long time ago. Fuck yeah. Uh, Pops burn, has started telling his stories again. Smoke. Rocks, they don't burn. But somewhere along the line... <laughs> Rocks don't burn, really? I don't know if you guys can hear this. But he's speaking about burning rocks. Or was it something else? Because the rock itself didn't burn up. Back then, of course, people didn't know that this wasn't just any old rock. It was ore. Ore. He talked about rock burning up and ore, if you didn't hear it. It's like, we lit a rock on fire and nothing happened. Then another one burned up and then it's, we no one knew why, but then we found out it was ore. Uh, pretty much, if you couldn't hear him. Sorry Listen. about this, uh, ever since Pops had his accident, his ears don't work too well. I, no, I, I love him. Really? But for a moment there, it almost seemed like you were having a coherent conversation. What, what accident? Firework in the ear? Much, much later, people Fuck eventually yeah. realized that if you grind certain materials into dust, they burn with many beautiful colors. I like this bloke. Pops, Pops, wait! <laughs> huh? What? What's that? Did they deliver those firework materials that we ordered yet? <laughs> oh! Yesterday's fireworks have all been delivered. So have the ones from the day before yesterday. And the ones from the day before that. No, Pops, I meant the materials. The materials that we ordered. They should have arrived today. Get to hearing aid. Ah, oh, today's fireworks are almost ready too. Don't you worry. <laughs> Your old man's skills are still as sharp as ever. Good. No, Pops, the materials. The raw materials for making fireworks. Yeah, I love this, so. Sorry? Two people yelling at people. Materials! D does it get it? Oh, oh, the materials. We, so we just write it down for him? Yes, yes, the materials. <laughs> You just confused him. <laughs> the materials aren't here yet. The couriers did come over to explain why, but... Well, I think they did, but I couldn't quite hear what they were saying. Oh, good. No worries. As long as we know, that's fine. We can just make them later. Oh, uh, don't forget to take the goods in when they deliver them. Okay, Pops? 
He didn't hear you. Of course. Leave it to me. He heard her. Surprising. Oh, sorry if we were a little loud. It's always the way, though. It's like that every time I need to ask Pop something. What? Speak up. I can't hear you. Uh huh. Don't be shy. He's a good person, all right. Everyone around here respects him. Really? Such the hearing aids. Because my pops is deaf, he never argues with anyone and never contradicts them. He just listens cheerfully. L listens. When I was little, I thought it was because he really understood me and agreed with whatever I had to say. So, I told my pops everything. Eventually, I realized that the reason he was like that was that he's deaf. But I still tell him stories every day. You know, mostly deaf. So she can get off her chest. It just makes me happy to see him smile. And it keeps him from being lonely, right? He's always lonely. Anyway, more importantly right now, the fireworks show is right around the corner and the materials still haven't arrived. We need to think of an alternative. We can mug them. Yoimiya? Is that you? Who's this? Ah! <sighs> oh, you scared me there. I thought I told you to be more careful before you speak. Who's this? Sorry. Hold on. I'm coming over. Okay. Apparently she's got scared by a door. Actually, we have to, um... We have to snoop. No one's looking. Okay, you can come out now. Uh, come around the side. Does he have a vision? Uh, we're lucky that no one from the Tenryo Commission was around. Otherwise, we'd all be in big trouble. <laughs> I'm guessing Sorry, vision. I guess I was a little rash, but when I heard you come back, I just... You just got excited. I just ran over. Don't worry, Sakajiro. So far, at least, everything is going according to plan. When I heard you in the hospital, I just ran over. You need a pig male specimen. We're going to look for firework materials shortly. Uh, While we're out, we'll sort out the boat situation for you, as promised. Oh, he's leaving. Thank you for all your help. Who the fuck's he's that? He's one of our old customers. He came back to Inazuma from the outside world not long ago. While he was smuggling himself in, the Tenryo Commission found him and put out a warrant for his arrest. What the fuck is with your hair things? Are those like... They look like the sparkler things, but thicker. Yeah, no shit, he's fucking not wanted here. Keep it down. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention. What if I do, though? If Sakajiro was caught, there's no knowing what crimes they could charge him with. All we can do is find him a boat and send him out of Inazuma again. Good, why the fuck did he come back? Yeah, we know it's going to be dangerous, but there aren't many other options left. If only a certain pirate was still here. What if the boat capsizes? Paimon, please stop talking bad things about it. things are it. this bad, couldn't you just not come back in the first place? I agree with her. Well, there's something I felt I had to do. Well, okay, so I've arrested. But as soon as I got back, I started hearing about all these unbelievable changes. I had made my mind up originally, but now I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> Good. I didn't want to cause any trouble for Yoimiya or Mr. Ryunosuke, but I'm very grateful to them for taking me in. You should. You need to pay them back. Hey. In no money. Worries. You're more than welcome. Remember what I said? As long as you've got that little piece of paper, you'll always be a valued customer of the Naganoharas. Oh, that without papers does. Little piece of paper? Yep. The same paper slips as the one I gave to the kids earlier. Whenever a customer orders fireworks for a commemorative event, we always include a little paper slip with the goods. Oh, good. Only people from inside my family can understand what's written on it. It's the recipe for the fireworks they ordered. Oh. What fucking language is it in? If someone shows a Naganohara that paper slip, we guarantee we can make the exact same firework as the original one they purchased. Whether it's 10 or even 100 years later. Oh, okay. I, I'll, I'll fucking test you on that. It's a family tradition. All our regular customers know about this. Uh, yes, the slip cool. I have is from back when my parents ordered fireworks from Mr. Ryunosuke. Now that I think about it, it must be nearly 20 years ago. Jeez, that's old. 
Why the fuck do you solve it? Things would turn out the way they have. Yeah, no, everything's shit. It'll be fine. Escaping in a boat is just a last resort for if there's no other way. I'll still try and come up with a different solution. Because it'd be much better if you could stay in Inazuma. Exactly. Whatever she needs more customers. Be, if our customers come to us looking for help, we're not about to leave them high and dry. Yeah, uh, they could just be arrested. Thank you. God. This way, I still have some time to consider my options. Why did you come here? Alright. Never well, fucking said. Let's not stay out here in the open for too long. Hurry up and get back inside. I'll let you know as soon as I have an update for you. <laughs> Alright. I'll, I'll leave it to you then, I guess. Get the fuck in the... God, I hate oh, the It's a shame. <laughs> they still wouldn't give him a permit, even though he was born and raised in Inazuma. That's shit. Speaking of... You guys only got here recently. How did you manage to get a permit? With skill. Even then, we only got through thanks to some help from Miss Haragi Chisato of the Kanjo Commission. So skill, you see, plays a oh, lot in I it. I see. So you had Big Shots helping you. I guess that won't be of much help to Sakajiro. Yeah, probably not. He's he's have a wrestle warrant. Uh, I just wish the commissions could be a little bit more flexible. D then this wouldn't be a commission, it's just be we flexible. I bet nowhere else you've been is quite like Inazuma, huh? No, not at all. <sighs> well, no matter what, I have to find a way to help him. No, oh, no, you could not. I'm sorry. Be I invited you to come watch the fireworks, but now I have to run a few errands. Don't worry, we'll watch the You house. don't have to join me if you don't want to. I can go sort out the firework materials in the boat by myself. And then you can come meet me back at the house later. Oh, cool! Then let's start with Sakajiro's boat. We can chat along the way. I'll throw him in mine, Darson. Darson is my sea vessel. Oh yeah! Um, if it's fine with you, can I ask how you two first met? Well, it was a romantic date. Running this one time, and after that, we started traveling together. Why do you ask? Nothing. I'm just quite envious of your relationship. Yeah, we're a cute couple. had a person like you around. His being deaf wouldn't hold things up all the time. Uh, 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 why do you look so excited? Because, because... You said person, and not floating child, or a mascot! No oh, emergency food, which he is. <laughs> Koichi, I'm here! How is the boat coming along? It's not. Yeah, it's, uh, all right, I guess. Um, I was questioned, though. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, should we really be talking about this in front of them? Oh, don't worry. They're my friends. You can trust them. They came with me to check up on the boat. We are recording everything. Don't mind the red light on my shirt. Yeah, you could say we're all in the same boat here. I'm going to drown you. Oh, I see. Sorry, I didn't mean to doubt you. I'm just being cautious. The boat is ready, but I'll have to be discreet moving it here. Glad you said I uh, didn't say sorry about that or burnt that. Huh? Why is that? Because people are watching. Because of the Sokoku decree, the Tenryo Commission is really suspicious of any kind of seaborne vessel. Even the smallest ones, they'll stop and interrogate us, demanding to know what we plan on doing with it. It's a real nuisance. Well, yeah, the water is dangerous to be in. I understand. I'm sorry for dragging you into this mess. You should be, this poor man. <laughs> uh, don't be silly. Uh, I'm actually happy you came to me for help. I've always come to you for fireworks, and again this time. So just consider this my way of saying thank you. <sighs> You're welcome. Right. You're welcome. I'll go fetch the boat now. I should be back shortly. Good. Thank you. Oh, if it's on the way, you can always pick up your fireworks from my house. Everything was made in strict accordance with what was on the paper slip. You won't find the slightest thing wrong with them. They'll explode in your hand, though. All right, then. The fireworks show will be starting soon, won't it? You should make sure your new friends get to see it. It's an Inazuma tradition, after all. Yeah, I haven't... Realistically, I haven't seen fireworks in years. Yep, that's the plan. Oh, you know what? You should tell them about your past. 
about the first time you ordered fireworks for my family. Yeah, like, I haven't seen fireworks in like years. We, I normally used to go as a kid uh, to a fireworks store in years, and then we just stopped. That's a long story, actually. Where do I start? To, at the oh, beginning. Oh. Maybe I'll come back to that after moving the boat here. Good. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, got caught up in the conversation there. <laughs> no, yeah, we notice. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it for now and meet you back here later. Yep. <laughs> Lucky you reminded me. Otherwise, I would have ended up chatting the rest of the day away. We noticed, Mrs. Chatterbox. Uh, I've been so busy with the fireworks business these past few days that I haven't had a moment to stop and chat with anyone. Oh, it's killing me. I wish this would. I mean... Of course, Pops is happy to listen to me chatter away, but because he can hardly hear anything, it's difficult to get an interesting reaction from him. Yeah, no, that that would be. And I'm doing it again. Where's your mother, I? anyway? Ugh. What I meant to say was, while Koichi is bringing the boat here, we should try to find some firework materials. Yes, so, fireworks definitely. Fireworks not just for you guys, but for those kids and Sakajiro as well. We're missing a lot of materials. Like get going. I'll be fine. It's actually like this every year. There's always a bunch of extra orders to slot in here and there. Oh, uh, good. When people want fireworks, it's always because they have something to commemorate. And if they miss the chance, they might never get another one. So, no matter how busy I am, I'm always happy to take their orders. Maybe if he wasn't like... hang on. Maybe if you wasn't the only fireworks up in Inazuma, it would be easier. So, what you're trying to say is that you enjoy the work? Yes. Oh, I do! I really do! Being born into a family of fireworks makers, I feel like since I was a kid, I've been obsessed with watching things go boom! And then seeing all the lights and colors and... You need help. You need therapy. Uh, uh, but what I really wanted to say was, uh, don't worry about me. It'll all be fine. Uh, sorry, sorry. It's just that good conversation can be as fleeting as fireworks sometimes, you know? So, when I'm in the mood and I've got a lot to say, I just have to get all out there in one go and leave no regrets. What well, are you saying? You get a good conversation once a year? Let's head to the city. I think I'll try my luck with some people that I know. It's an old man just staring at us. Is that a samurai master we helped? Doesn't it hurt your voice talking all the time? Shut up. I can get uncomfortable, I guess. But what else would I be using my voice for? Paimon, you literally talk all the time. You kind of have a point. I could have shrine, I'm pretty sure it's right. No, actually, no, that is not the shrine. Never mind, shut up. I wasn't wrong, you wrong. The fuck are you? Who are you? Why did pause on this door? What the fuck is this? Okay. Got a cat cafe? Or some crap. Where the fuck are we going? There's a big yellow circle. Good day, sir! Hello, Morihiko. How's business these days? <laughs> Yoi Mia. There you are. I thought you might show up. Yes. Ha, ah, no need to beat around the bush. You're here for the fireworks materials, I assume. I put a batch aside just for you. It'll definitely be enough. To her, huh? so. Really? How did you know? You do it every year. Because a fireworks show is coming up. And that usually means you'll be running all over the place trying to get your hands on some last minute materials. Well, he's not wrong. It's just becoming night. I've come to expect it now. There's always a few extras unaccounted for, eh? Why am I cold? This was boiling hot before, now I'm cold. What the fuck's happening to this room? Oh, I'm so sorry for bothering you every time. It puts me in business. We'll get some umbrellas. Look at that fox. Look how happy he is. Ah, oh, come on now. You know I didn't mean it like that. I'd sooner have my business go under than turn down one of your requests. I think that's a lie. I think you're fucking lying. What about you two? Are you the ones needing some fireworks made? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's no trouble at all, my friend. No oh, good. We're already going off the base. Uh, once when I had an argument with my son, Yoimiya was the one who came and calmed him down. <laughs> of course. I'm hopeless at communicating with him. If it wasn't for Yoimiya, who knows? He probably would have run away by now. Uh that's not a good thing. You need to work on your father's skills. 
Nah, he was never gonna come to that. He's a sensitive kid and he cares a lot about your feelings. It's just, he doesn't know how to express it. Okay, you and me after this, can we get a fox mask? Maybe if you turn that frown upside down once in a while, he might feel more at ease. Yeah, I guess I'm probably this your son? serious around him. This looks weird. Which is strange, because I don't think I'm anything like that when I'm talking with other people. <laughs> yes, it's because it's your own kin. Don't worry about it. No one's perfect. If you have <coughs> any more trouble in the future, just come to me. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What the? She looked back at that thing and now looks smug as fuck. Even if it's not fireworks related, I'll happily oblige. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, what the fuck's up? <laughs> trouble right is concerned. Then. Everyone's always saying what a good kid you are. Your father must be very proud of you. I'm concerned at the moment with Paimon's soul. Go ahead and take the ore, by the way. It's on the house. Oh, sweet. Oh, no, you don't. That's out of the question. Oh, sweet. You don't give a fuck. Don't worry. Just Not take it as a token of my gratitude. Gratitude won't pay your bills, though. Don't do this to me. Can't we just play by normal business rules here? This happens in real life. I already said it's fine. Please, just take it. Surely you've got a load of other things you need to get done today. My mother of like friends would like cut her hair and it's like she'll pay them. It's like this is way too much. It's like just take it. Um, well, how about this then? I'll record this in my notebook and we can consider it a down payment against any fireworks you want to purchase in the future. Got it. <sighs> There's no convincing you, is there? Yep. All right then, if you insist. Pass on my regards to your dad. Tell him Morihiko wishes him health and happiness. <laughs> Will do. You look after yourself as well. Don't push yourself too hard. You don't want to make yourself ill again. He, he's he's gone, you and me, talking to no one. She's so starved for conversation. She's talking to the wall where he Everyone was. Everyone seems to really like you, you and me. Yeah, because he will blow them up if they don't. You're not the first person to say that. In fact, some people think I'll literally do any favor they ask me to. Uh, any? When that happens, I say to them, Hey, this is a fireworks store. We do fireworks. <laughs> but ugh, they don't always listen, so it can't be helped. But also, it's not really a big deal. You saw? Anyway, seems like a big deal. all the materials we need now, so that solves that problem. It seems like a big deal doing some of its fireworks. You parano, why you look at both of us, huh? Next, we just need to go find someone to process them. Oh good, that would be easy. Who, who's your normal processor? D d I need one of these. <laughs> Don't taunt me fox masks. Don't taunt me masks. I want one. Today feels like it's going fucking slow. Oh, of course, the blacksmith. Oh, I could, we can buy a sword. Try and prove her culinary skills, apparently. Hajime! Mr. Aminoma! It's me! <laughs> Hajime? Well, good name. Ah, Yoimiya, if I'm not mistaken, you must be here for some firework materials. What's this angle of him? He's just an arm and an ass. I know he's an it's asshole, like but God. Everyone knows how busy Yoimiya gets leading up to the fireworks show. She does own a fireworks shop and don't have time to clean up her hair, Scudder. I'm very sorry. Would you be able to wait for a while? I have quite a backlog of weapons orders right now. Can we put another one on that? No worry. Oh, oh wait. Actually, uh, yeah, that could be a problem. Uh, some worries. Love war. This? Do you need a hand? As long as we can get through your orders, you can help me process my ore, right? You could also get to another blacksmith. Uh, that will depend on my master. Are you boarding? Oh, you don't mind, do you, Mr. Aminoma? As you know, it's not long now until the Naginohara fireworks show starts. He's gonna say no. There's still a lot of fireworks left to make, if I don't finish them on time. Talkative as ever, I see, dear child. Are you just staring at that fire? The essence of Amenoma art is patience and focus. When the mind is disturbed, it will show in the blade that is forged. He's, he's not wrong. If you, you can't pass your soul. Hajime like this, you will only succeed in disrupting his concentration. But, but this is a special circumstance, surely! The Naganohara fireworks show is right around the corner! 
You're gonna break that blade if you're not so looking. So give me your ore, and I will process it for you. <laughs> oh man! Huh? Master, you mean you'll do the work personally? Look at the blade, sir. Is that so surprising? It is, after all, the only option. There is two of you. Yeah, he's not wrong. Thank you for helping out, Mr. Aminoma. You're quite welcome. The Naga Nohara Fireworks Show is an important event. This, I know well. In addition to this, I am indebted to Ryunosuke for all the business he has given me. <laughs> but Yoimiya, you should plan things more carefully in the future. Do not rush everything at the last minute. She doesn't, it's just backwater. <laughs> I'll try my best. Well, she's just a dunce. I'm sure I'll get some extra materials in to cover any unexpected changes of plan late in the day. You should have did that year one, too. <sighs> Though for you, you dear child, standard. no matter how much you prepare in advance, it may never be enough. It's a curse. Excuse me. I will be back shortly. Okay, bye. Miss him already. Jesus! Wow, you're pounding the van, dude. Just look at the shape and size of these grains. It's beautiful. I'm at a loss for words. I noticed. Actually, no, you're the opposite. It's been a while since I've seen you take up your tools, but it looks like your craft hasn't degraded one bit. <laughs> he trains every day. Of course. Without the tools. I have studied these techniques my whole life. They are impossible for me to forget. Oh, God, I need to do my stretches after the stream. My fucking foot is done. Kill me. So Already? Probably. Back in the day, it was my master and Ryunosuke's father. The people may have changed from one generation to another, but the ingredients required to make fireworks have remained the same. Yeah, no, no shit, they will. Hajime, in the future, this will be up to you. A good old Hajime. I know, I know. Uh, maybe, you know, do something about your balding, too. <laughs> Alright, I won't bother you guys any longer. Oh, remember to come and watch the fireworks. I think you'll be too busy, good old Hatsume. Okay, time to head off. Yep. Koichi probably isn't back just yet, but let's go wait for him. Yeah. Let's do it. Where the fuck was that again? Was it in this guy's limbs? Let's take out the mouth. Oh, something's still fuck you. Ah, uh, yes. I'm just a menace to his side. He's just mugging everyone. Oh, yeah, the dogs are back. Ah, uh, yes. The dogs. How you going, mate? Yeah, splash some water on your face. Get, get yourself some hydration. It's hot these days. It's summer. Turning to summer. Just as I thought. He isn't back yet. Not to worry, because actually, I've been hoping for a chance to have a nice long chat with you all day. Oh god, no. Not a chat. I'm dragging you with me everywhere. Everyone's been so good to me, though. It's all gone really smoothly. <laughs> you laugh a lot, you know that? They make people laugh a lot in this. Don't want to laugh, Stumma. What do you mean? You spoke more than me. I felt like I was neglecting you guys. So, I wanted to find an opportunity to catch up. Oh god, no. When we first met, I was Not in a words. hurry. We didn't have a chance to sit down and have a proper chat. You just want to speak, don't you? You guys are travelers, right? So, where else did you go before coming to Inazuma? Ah, uh, yes. Both of these. Oh, sounds great! I heard they pretty much have no rules over there, right? So people are free to live their life however they want, they... doing whatever makes them happy. They still have laws over there. My pops actually received a gift from one of his old customers over there. It was from the winery or something. Which one? Don Winery! That one. Their dandelion wine is super famous! There's still the cattail bar. That's a bar or a winery. Yes, that's the one! I remember when he drank it. <laughs> I've never seen him enjoy a bottle of wine so much in his life. He was telling me all night about how good it tasted. Yeah, no, it's, uh, that's a wine have that effect. My friend once said to me that only people with a strong will and a clear purpose decide to go traveling. Maybe it's to see a certain view or to fulfill a certain wish. Oh, uh, now we are birds just looking above these people. 
Waiting for them to faint. So, what made you guys embark on your treacherous journey to Inazuma? Uh. And we're looking for answers from the gods, too. That, too. You were separated from your family because of a god? Yep. Oh. Yeah, no, I spiked them all. They all look dicks. That must be really tough. Oh, yeah, no, this was terrible. I get it. Well, if that's how it is, then that's how it is. <sighs> you know, I was going to ask if you guys wanted to stay here in Inazuma. I'm told and you suck it. Unlike the outside world, what Inazuma seeks is eternity. In other words, a state of tranquility where very little ever changes. Yeah, no, that sounds shit. The advantage of that is that if you're ever tired from your journey, Inazuma's a great place to come and rest. Yeah, but I can also get rich in our uh, leeway. Or um, Monstead. I'm pretty sure... What the fuck is his name? Not Kaya Dove one, the one which hates Kaya. Diluc slash Nung Ningwong will happily let me work with them. Um, uh, let me put it this way. Just give me a place to I'm rest. I'm just, just worried that you might be getting weary. If you keep pressing on in that state, you might start to lose sight of the things that made you want to start your journey in the first place. I already have. This was my sister. I need to get her back. <sighs> Sometimes. That's also just how it is. When you're exhausted, everything becomes an uphill struggle. Even trying to have fun. You won't be able to enjoy yourself if you're too tired. God, it's a fucking boiler in here. An adventure friend of mine once told me that if you're too focused on reaching the end of the race, You'll miss a lot of opportunities and precious moments to be had along the way. Oh, uh, don't worry, I've been looting. I've been mugging pe- I mean looting. Don't worry though, I'm sure I can think of some way to get you feeling relaxed and happy. Just keep your clothes on. And you're here now, so even if you're gonna leave eventually, I wanna make sure you at least leave with fond memories. Please just keep the clothes on. Who knows? Once you're reunited with your family, maybe you'll find Inazuma the right kind of place to call home. Probably. <laughs> I already have an idea of the color and type of fireworks I want to give you guys. I'll keep it a secret for now, though. You wink at me. Yoimiya, I'm back. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head over to the boat. Or, uh, did you want to keep chatting a little longer? No, we're good. Okay, good. Let's go, then. Just act naturally, though. We don't want to raise any suspicion. What's naturally? I have a floating gremlin with me. It must be super sturdy, right? No. Absolutely. Rest assured that the quality is guaranteed. It's just a plank. Please tell me it's just a plank. I am Barbara. Perfect. Now I can pick this flower and not be looked at weirdly. Give me this. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, Need fucking leave soon and go in the air conditioning. It's way too small. It's it's a can't be helped. I'm afraid uh, this is the biggest and sturdiest boat that I can provide. It's built from the finest Inazuman timber. Oh, good. Is it mahogany? Still, I'll be the first to admit that if he's planning to ride this into the storm, it's going to be exceedingly dangerous. Yes. I'm also hoping Sakajiro won't have to use it. It's just there as a last resort. Perfect, we just have a bird here. I gotta say though, Koichi, it feels like your craft has improved once again. He have been working on it for probably his entire life. <laughs> I'm not the one you should be praising. It's all thanks to the guys who kindly pitched in. Are you right? You have a bit of a st to avoid detection, we each worked on our own materials separately, then assembled them secretly in the night. Oh. This is the largest we could afford to build. Any bigger and there's no way it would pass the Tenryo Commission's inspection. True. Let's store the boat here for now, then. I'll Why? It can get stolen and broken. You'll need to make some preparations before setting sail. Oh, my leg will, too. Stone uh -oh. home. Paimon feels really worried all of a sudden. Uh, doesn't helping Sakajiro make you a collaborator in the eyes of the Tenryo Commission? Yes. <laughs> Maybe it does. But I knew what I was getting into from the moment I agreed to help him. She, she started to help him. She got it and dies. My family has pretty <clears throat> good connections with the Yashiro Commission. We work very closely with them. And whenever there's a national event of any sort, the other two commissions come to us too. Oh, good. As long as I'm polite and respectful oh, and don't cause a fuss, they 
you won't look to cause trouble for me either. It's no good day, I'm boiling and my leg hurts. And anyway, to your point about collaboration, you've been helping out too, right? Oh fuck. That's true. This was all a collaborative effort. Ooh. Wait! <laughs> oh, oh no! Ah oh, yes, yeah, the perfect frame. She realized what she did. Ah, so you're seasoned crooks already, eh? Don't know what I was worried about then. <laughs> anyway, Stop laughing at me. Kalichi. And your fireworks are ready, so just go pick them up from my house whenever you want. While you're there, you can get my pops to settle the book instructions. I fucking piece. love this music. Oh, don't worry about paying anything. Third sis would be sure to scold me if she found out I'd taken Mora from the Naganohara. She third sis. Who's third sis? That's what I'm asking. Oh, uh, let me explain this one. It's a story my pops told me. There used to be a thriving merchant guild in Inazuma. It got really prosperous. At one point, there were a dozen or so kids born around the same time to the families of the guild. They all grew up together, each of them learning their respective family's business. Oh good. Is that where third sis comes they in? They were a tightly knit group of friends. But eventually, they all grew up and decided they each wanted to go into business themselves. That makes sense. It was inevitable that business would send them all to different corners of the world, and that they'd have far less opportunity to see each other in oh, the future. Oh, if only my fucking fan wasn't fucking broken. I was sweeping and hit it with a broom and now it doesn't work. And the duct did, uh, heating doesn't work. That's right. He's fucking... Just before we went our separate ways, the eldest of the group suggested that we should all go watch some fireworks together one last time. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> they were all very ambitious types, and each had their own knack for doing business. One by one, they left, until Koichi was the only one of them remaining in Inazuma. No. Oh. After that, he hardly saw them. But, whenever one of them did come back to visit, fireworks would always be involved. <laughs> of course, they come back for the sun not him. Yeah, no matter how close you and your friends are, there's always going to be some distance after being separated for a long time. But as soon as the fireworks lit up the sky, it'd instantly take us right back to our childhood, and we'd be chatting away like in the old days. Oh, good for you. To us, those memories are eternal. I'm fucking sweating, that's oh, eternal. So this is what you meant when you were talking about commemorating things. Oh, fuck. Yep, that's exactly right. That's why I can't let people down when they're counting on me for their fireworks. You do that. Anyway, I need to go update Sakujiro. See you, Koichi. Can't Thanks wait till Nightways will be cool. Yeah, I should get out of here too. And I'm not fucking. I don't want to get caught red handed. Yes, please leave. Okay, story time. So, oh, good story when time. She brings one of his friends from the trade association to see me. They always mention how they used to play with me when I was a kid or help me once as a baby or something. You don't but remember? There were so many of them in that friendship group, and I don't remember anything from that age anyway. So, I, uh, never have a clue who they I are. I wish I could jump in a lake right now in real life. One time, he shows up with he another one of his swim. friends, and the friend asks me if I remembered him. So I'm like, yes, I do! You held me once when I was just a baby! Koichi just bursts out laughing and says, Actually, this is one of his carpenter friends. Turns out, he's a lot younger than he looks. Just a few years older than me. Crikey. I went bright red and must have apologized like a million times. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> you got anything biting? The fuck is this? Yeah, it was dead on in there. So, actually, I'm boiling, I'm sweaty, I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs>